Hey, it's Erin. Today's workout was highly requested. I keep getting messages asking what exercises can help banish bra fat. Now, before we get into the actual workout, it's important to understand that we cannot spot reduce. So for example, the bra fat area tends to be here and also back here. So you've got a couple of different areas that could be improved upon. And the only way to really reduce body fat here or here or on your abs is to just get into a caloric deficit and reduce your overall body fat percentage. Now, there is a bit of a workaround in that, if you think about it, we've got fat and skin at the surface and we've got muscle underneath. So if you're able to build muscle underneath the fat and the skin, you're essentially filling that area out and tightening that area. So by adding some muscle strategically to the upper chest, the shoulders, the upper back, we're able to effectively tighten that skin, which is pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get into this awesome workout. Our first exercise is a close grip pull down to the stomach. And for this exercise, you wanna make sure that the cable knee pads are set up to where they will lock you in and you're not using momentum at all. Feet are flat on the floor and you're going to grasp the bar Make sure that your upper body is at about a 45 degree angle and you're going to pretty much stay at that angle. So it's a little bit different than your traditional lat pull down. Leaning back is going to allow you to get that range of motion to be able to pull to the bottom of the rib cage, top of the stomach. Now, as you pull, I want you to think about from your hands to the elbow as being connected to the handle. So you're thinking about simply pulling your elbows down and pulling them close to you. Pause for just a moment, and then you're going to slowly allow the weight to go back up to the starting point. And don't spend so much time at that starting point. There's no tension there. So you're gonna go right back into the pull down and really focus on pulling a little bit lower. You're going to feel this in the upper back, in your lats, and you'll feel it a little bit in the triceps too. So it's a nice variation on the pull down. Next, we're moving on to the cross body chest press. And it can be a good idea to start with your non-dominant side and let that dictate the number of reps that you do on the dominant side. Now you're going to grasp the handle going to stand feet shoulder width apart, keep your core nice and tight, and you want to think about pushing the handle across your body. And you can even try this right now with no weight, and you will really feel it right there in that area where the chest meets the shoulder. So you're going to get a really nice contraction, especially at that mid rep point, keeping your arm and your hand close to your body. And then you're going to control the cable back to the starting position. And you want to make sure that you're keeping your hand all the way to the elbow in line with that cable and getting that perfect press. And as you switch sides, make sure you're performing the exercise exactly the same from left to right. Really important. Next exercise, moving on to the mini band chest supported row. Now, for this exercise, you're going to go just a bit lighter than you would normally go because the mini band adds a level of resistance that can make it pretty tough. And it can also be a bit tough to get into this exercise. So what I like to do is get the mini band around both hands. It's going to be right about the wrist and I grasp the dumbbells and I sort of fling them over the top and then I make sure that my chest is supported by the bench, the pad. And the bench, you want it set up to about a 45 to 60 degree angle. And keep in mind with the bench, the higher the incline, the higher up on the back you'll be hitting. So experiment with it and find that sweet spot. And you're using a neutral grip here. And as you pull the dumbbells towards your chest, I want you to think about also keeping them separated. And this is where the mini band comes in because it's going to give you that resistance 
which is really going to not only hit the back, but hit those rear delts as well and can really focus on that area. You're going to pull up until you hit the bench or until you really feel that good squeeze. And then you're going to slowly lower the dumbbells down, making sure that you've got even tension on both sides with that band. And the entire time, I want you to think about pushing out against that band. It's a game changer, I promise. Next, we're moving on to an incline fly with a wrist twist. Now this little wrist twist is going to make all the difference in the world for really targeting the outer chest. And for incline flies, whatever you do, I would just go maybe five or 10 pounds lighter just to get a feel for this exercise. So you want your glutes flat on that seat, your feet flat on the floor, back flat on the pad. And of course you want your head nice and neutral and you're going to extend those dumbbells over your chest and keeping a soft elbow on both sides. I want you to think about lowering that weight and getting to that mid rep point, getting nice tension and getting a loaded stretch. So each rep that you do, I want you to think about just getting a little bit more of a stretch Make sure it's comfortable. You don't want to force anything, but this is a great way to get that good stretch on the muscle, which is important for muscle growth. Now, as you're at that mid rep point, getting that good stretch, I want you to think about pushing those dumbbells back up to the starting position, but I want you to almost think about hugging a barrel. So you're keeping the elbow nice and soft. As you get towards that starting position, rotate your hands to where you're palms are facing up and your pinkies are facing each other and you're going to think about squeezing those dumbbells together and as you lower the weight I want you to think about rotating them back to that neutral grip so it's just a slight wrist twist as the dumbbells begin to touch at the top this is going to give you just that extra bit of tension next exercise is the incline pullover and for these exercises, you can keep the incline at the same amount, or you can go ahead and decrease the incline just a little bit for that incline pullover. It is totally up to you. But keep in mind that with the incline pullover, you're going to use less weight than you would for the regular pullover. So just important to note, always go lighter than you think. And you can use that as a warm up set, or you can just do a few reps to gauge how it feels because it's a little bit of a different exercise. And you're going to lower the dumbbell behind you in an arc, getting a really good stretch. Now you're gonna feel this in your lats, you're gonna feel it in your teres, which is a very small muscle that is kind of under the armpit, <laughs> which is really great for tightening that bra area. Lower the dumbbell until you feel that really good stretch, keeping the same bend in the elbow throughout. If you bend your elbows through the exercise, so if you create a bend, you're going to hit more triceps than back. So really important to just keep your arms somewhat straight, but keep that same level of bend through the elbow throughout the exercise. And you're going to pull the dumbbell back up to the starting position, just short of the starting position, because we're wanting to keep constant tension on the muscle. So if you allow the dumbbell to get to perpendicular to the floor, you allow your arms to get perpendicular to the floor, you're going to lose tension. So you wanna stop just short of perpendicular and go right back into it. And last, our forward lean pushdowns. Now, with a forward lean, you're going to be hitting the long head of the triceps, which is tough to hit. And this is the back part of the arm. And of course, this is right where that bra goes. So you're gonna be tightening this area by adding muscle here. Now, for the forward lean, you can either keep your feet shoulder width apart and 
lean forward, or you can use a staggered stance. Now, anytime I use a staggered stance, I like to make sure that I'm alternating which leg is forward for each set. It can be a bit of overkill, but if you're looking at building in a really symmetric body, it's important to perform the exercise evenly on both sides, and that does include your stance. So just something to think about. So if you're standing with your feet shoulder width apart, you're just going to lean forward, keep your back flat. And for the push down, you really want to think about the elbow being the lever here. So fix the upper arm and you're just going to bend at the elbow and that's it. It's an isolation move and you should feel a nice stretch with that and you should feel it in the back of the arm. So you're going to push the rope down and as you get to that mid rep point, also think about pulling the rope apart. So it is a, it's a push down, but it's also a pull apart. So I want you to think about those two things and go nice and slow with this exercise so you can focus on not only pushing down, but pulling the rope apart, getting that really good mid rep squeeze, and then allowing your lower arm to get back to that starting position and not spending a lot of time at that starting position. So the name of the game is to keep the tension on the intended muscles. If you want to do this workout long term, think about performing the exercises once or twice per week. And of course, for gaining muscle, you want to consider progressive overload. It sounds complicated, but all it means is that you want to increase the volume or increase the weight by about five to 10% each week. So for example, if I start this workout and I'm doing three sets of eight of everything this week, next week I might do three sets of nine, then three sets of 10, and you can see how it can build upon itself. As you get towards the three sets of 15 to 20 reps, you may consider dropping back down to four sets of six and really pushing hard. This way you're able to get a nice mix of volume. You're also hitting some of the fast twitch muscles with those lower reps going a little bit heavier. So if you want another video on this, let me know. I love to talk all things building strategic muscle. And if there's something else you wanna see, let me know as well. If you made it this far, I love you and I'm proud of you. Keep pushing and keep building your own unique masterpiece. That's it for this time. Until next time, train smart, train hard, y'all.